In this episode of the advanced construction video, I'm going to fill some gaps around the fins and the fairings here on the Estes Saturn V Skylab kit. So right after this announcement, we'll be right back. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Um, I've been building the Estes Skylab rocket, which is this one right here. Um, and I've gotten to the point where um, I've put everything together, but I have some gaps around all the fins where they meet the fairings right here. And painting these is going to be a nightmare because what happens when you paint, you're going to have their solvents in the paint. You're going to have solvents on the upper surface of this, and then it's going to wick underneath and get underneath as well. So you're going to have solvent from two sides, and that could cause problems. It might, it might cause the edges to kind of like curl up on you. So I want to seal those up and then also I want to make it stiffer and actually make it, you know, cosmetically uh, more appealing. Um, so this one's bad. So how do you fix this? Um, and this step that I'm going to show you could be applicable to any rocket that has a bottom that's made out of cardboard like this one right here is. Um, that has through the wall fins and you want to get on the inside of the rocket and fix things from the inside. So I've already gone ahead and done one of the fairings already, already and that's this one right here. And what I've done is cut a hatch hole in the bottom of the fairing so I could get inside with some glue. Um, the reason this happens, um, these are the vacuform wraps that Estes gives you with the kit. Um, and you have a fin and you have to match the fin to the, the hole here, but this hole here isn't quite perfect, unfortunately. And, and then cutting out this very, very thin plastic is really difficult. This is a skill level five kit, and this is where you really need all your skills available. To make these fins slide through, you're gonna have gaps and that's how come the gaps occur. Um, now to complicate issues, um, what Estes has you do is you has these stiffener pieces here made out of cardboard and these are glued on the inside of the fairing and then the fairing is glued to the outside of the rocket. So now we have a hard bottom here on this fin and um, I got to cut through that. Um, so here's the technique and what we want to do is we want to use the piece that we cut out as a hatch cover but if you cut it wrong it's always going to fall right through inside of the rocket. So um, when you cut this the technique is you want to cut at an angle. So imagine that I have a square right here I want to come in from the side, this way, then this way, then this way. See, I'm not coming straight in like this. I'm coming in a side at an angle like this. And what that is going to do is it's going to leave me a little ridge on the inside of the hole that we have so that when I drop that piece back in, it doesn't fall all the way through and inside. Um, so I'm going to make my first cut here. Now this one here I made rather small. Um, I've, since I've got the technique down, I'm going to make it a lot bigger and hopefully you'll be able to see something inside. Um, now I'm going to plunge my knife in and I'm going to work real slow. You can see I'm at an angle. I'm doing this upside down, which always makes it a lot harder. I'm doing it upside down so that you can see it. Okay, so now I want to go 
this way here. Kind of work nice and slow. Let the knife do the work. And you can see I also got a little gap right here at the bottom and I can fill that at the same time. Okay, so here's my hatch, and I don't know if you can see it from the back side, but you can see that there's an angle cut right there. And then when I put it back on, it fits nice and perfect, and it doesn't go back in. It's stuck to my finger. Uh, okay, so now I can see on the inside of the rocket, uh, and I can see that gap really nice and easily from the inside as well. Okay, so now how do we fill that? And to fill that, I'm gonna use the Fix-It Epoxy Clay. Um, this stuff has um, a really long working time, which is why I, I choose this over, we sell a different epoxy clay um, called Bond-Aid. Bond-Aid hardens in five minutes, and it's just not enough time to actually get inside there and make the fix. So, to use this, it's a two-part mix, and you're going to grab an equal glob of both pieces of both sides. And that looks pretty close. And then we're just going to knead these together until we get a nice uniform color. Okay, so my clay is now mixed. Um, and, and by tomorrow, this is going to be rock hard. But uh, first I want to take a piece. I only need a small piece. I don't have a lot of, to fill. And I'm just going to roll it into a snake like this. Okay. And that's, that's plenty for one side. And then, to put it in there, I'm going to take a dowel. Just as a, a skinny dowel. And I'm just going to lay this on the dowel. And it's kind of sticky, which is good. It's what we want. And just kind of stick it to the dowel. Like that. And now I can stick it on the inside. This is the part you may not see because this is inside the rocket. And I want to stick it in there and then just press it up against that inside gap. And then, yeah, good. It's stuck in place. Okay, so now I want to take my, uh, my dowel and then just press it up against the inside. And I want to push it in there until it starts oozing out the top because that way I know that it's that it's pressed in there really good If I have any on the gap on the back, I can press that in there as well, but my back looks actually pretty good. I have a different dowel here with a nice flatter area on the back. And it doesn't have to be pretty because no one's gonna see it on the inside. This is gonna fill it, and actually this is, this is very structural, so it's gonna make it rock hard. Okay, so I got one side done, like that. I need a little bit more at the front. Uh, 
Okay. And so now the stuff that oozes out from the outside, you just take your hobby knife and then gently just kind of run it along that edge. You can see it just peels away. It's nice and clean. And then you can kind of clean it up with your fingernail like that. So there it goes. That's, that's one side done. Now I'll take another piece, do the same process, roll it into a snake, stick it in there and just smush it in place. be much easier for you because you're you won't be looking down this way you'll be looking down this way <laughs> hopefully you can see that coming through a little bit more cleanup. You can always shove more clay in there if you need to. I think on mine I do. I think I can live with that. And now for this gap here on the bottom, I'll try to do the same thing. It's going to be a little bit harder because what you need is a tool that has like a little hook on it. I have a little dental tool here. Got this down at the flea market. Um, you can try that. That works really nice. So it's got a little hook that I can get under on the inside like that. Just push it in there. for that corner.
same thing. You just want to push it in in there until you until you fills it up and you know kind of starts oozing out. I'm sure you could probably take a piece of wire and bend it like a coat hanger into a an L shape if you don't have a little dental tool like this. That should work just fine. Okay. Okay. Got to get my glasses on. Make sure I got it all filled. I think I'm missing at the very, very corner. Okay, that's much better. Once this hardens, you will definitely know, notice how much stronger it is. Okay, so since I'm going to put this back in now, so make sure you got it the way you want it before you glue this back in. All right, so because this is cardboard, um, you can either use thin CA or wood glue. I'm going to use thin CA. And first I'm going to saturate this. Oops, I went too much. And this will seal the fibers of the uh, paper. Okay. Now I'm going to take my hatch cover Drop it back in. I'm going to press it down and then put CA glue around that perimeter. All right. So now once this it's all hard. Um, I would probably come back here and sand that off, make it nice and flat again like it started out, um, and then you're done. Um, and that's how you fill those gaps along a fin. Now this could, this, like I said, you could do this on any rocket that has like a cardboard bottom where you can actually come in there and cut with a knife. Um, Rockets that have through the wall fins, this would be, this would work great. It'll allow you to put fillets on the inside as well. And structurally, it's stronger, even though you've cut a hole in it because you, you, you've used epoxy in there. Um, so yeah, this is a really good technique to use. Um, so my name again is Tim Van Milligan. Um, if you like this video, um, down on YouTube, right below the video is a um, the like button, make sure you like it, and then there's also a subscribe button. Uh, when you hit the subscribe button, you'll notice that a little bell shows up next to the subscribe button. And if you click on that bell, then it will send you an email whenever we do a new video. And that way you're always up to date on our newest advanced construction videos. So until the next time, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, may all your rockets fly straight and true.